Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese and welcome back to Tekken 2 and also Merry Christmas to each and every single one of you. We are back down here in the basement of power, if you will, where... Look at that. We're starting to stack up the UU Matter. Finally! Finally, we're starting to do it. We're starting to get there. And if we're going to sell the factory on Christmas Day, which I'm starting to think might not be so bad, because think about it. Hold on. <coughs> My apologies. I get gassy when I'm excited. That's not true, but can you imagine? <laughs> Just any time I'm like, oh, this is so cool. I'm having so much fun. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. That would, that's that's probably something. That sounds like an Austin Powers bit, doesn't it? Or you know what it makes me think of? It makes me think of Austin Powers adjacent. If you've ever seen The Master of Disguise, it makes sense. Dana Carvey and uh, Mike Myers were together on SNL as well as uh, Wayne's World. So there you go. It's adjacent, you know. You could make the argument that The Master of Disguise was Dana Carvey. Austin Powers, the villain, every time he starts laughing, he does a little pfft, pfft. There we go. It's like <laughs> And that's the joke every time he laughs. And it's always funny. That's a fantastic film. Also, what were none of you going to tell me? <laughs> How did I not know this? Gilbert Gottfried died in 2022. I didn't know that when I referenced him reading Fifty Shades of Grey. I had no idea that he'd passed away. I went back and found that video and there were people like, rip in peace, Gilbert Gottfried. And I was like, that's funny, but Gilbert Gottfried's not dead. He's dead. We'll never get to hear his voice again in a new project. That was a horrible Gilbert Gottfried. But you know what I'm saying. I, I miss the fella. Good guy. Good guy. But I mean, we can move on to other... <laughs> I'm just going to continue. We can move on to a new mod pack. We could play something more modern or something just very different. We don't have to hang around here and keep doing tech it. We can sort of stretch our legs in a brand new world and a very new environment. Start over completely from scratch. I know it's, it's going to be a lot to consider, but gosh darn it if I'm not already considering it. Okay, we've still got plenty of sunlight. I thought the sun might be setting. I wanted to get eyes on it. But uh, before we leave, there are some things we need to do, right? I mean, first off, if we go back down to the basement for just a moment, I really do need to fix the hole in the floor and reroute this cable here. I mean, first off, there's no reason for this section of the cable to be here anyway. And then also, we can probably think of a better way to run these that aren't like this. I mean, we could probably actually just, like, dig up this section here if we wanted to. I'll have to go around and I'll have to locate the whatever it is that sprays this stuff to fill in spaces i'll have to figure out where that's at and have to remember how to use it but you know if that's something we wanted to do we could absolutely do that and hold on just a second give me a minute this is going to bother me if i don't go ahead and finish it all right we're going to go track down some cables but some other things that we need to do if we come over here to the factory we need to also finish putting up the teleporters on every floor. You know, I'm just, I want to make sure the place is finished before we go. The last thing I want to do is leave it unfinished and then have them complaining that, hey, the oven doesn't work and you said it did when you, we signed. I'm going to sue you now. You know, whatever happens at house closings. That never happened. I actually got uh, several hundred dollars back because the oven in my house was shot. But that was negotiated before closing. Because oven was included in the listing, and then during the inspection, it was determined that it did not work. And the guy was like, how about at closing, I give you enough money in cash to buy a new oven? And I was like, you got me. Let's do it. And we did, and it was great. Got a new oven and fridge. It was wonderful. What am I doing right now in this exact moment? What, what is currently happening? I've already forgotten. What is, what is in the world around me? Why did I come over here? Was I looking for something in particular? Was I going to take something back down with me? Oh, we got to put teleporters on every floor, I think is what I was going to say. Didn't we come up here for something? Oh, we were looking for electrical cable. That's what it was. That's what it was. It's come back to me now. There we go. All right. Yeah, no, but we do want to have on every single floor uh, a teleporter and get that set up and working. There we go. Look at that. So now we've got power going back over there. And then I reckon if we just head right back upstairs, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be running teleporters today. But I figure while we're at it, we can also figure out how to do this. With the objects inside of here. I'm trying to remember. That's important. You need the obscurer. And I think the CF sprayer. And then I think with the CF sprayer. You just like right click. Yeah. And it goes a certain distance. 
Oh, goodness gracious. No, that's a bit too much. That is not exactly what we wanted. I do appreciate the attempt, though. I'm not sure if there's any way we could have avoided that, really. Uh, but we'll, we'll get all this set back up like so. I don't know. Maybe we do want to do that, though. Right? Like, maybe we do want to run the power through the wall back there and have it just... Oh, actually, we could. We could have the power go into this part of the wall and then down. Oh, we could have the solar panels and we can have the electric cable behind them inside of a cavity. And that cavity goes down and maybe inside of back here and then comes out under the wall and then it's all invisible. I like that idea. That is a good idea. But first things first, we're going to use the Obscurer. And you can use the Obscurer on the undried blocks as well. I know we determined this previously. And uh, it'll just, when they dry, they change over. I have a memory of that, like a distant memory of that. Yeah, see? Once the, once the pieces dry. Can't you dry them quickly with sand as well? So if you're in like a bit of a rush for some reason, which you're not. You have nothing better to do. But if you are in a rush, you can right-click with sand. And that'll very quickly, I guess, collect something i don't know oh and you can also decorate different sides so you could have this be something else or have it be the same texture if you were so inclined to do such a thing there we go though lovely so that's a little bit tidier and this is still a bit messy but i do like that idea of just taking out the wall here i mean now that i've gone through all that effort what if we just routed it back here instead you know right back here i like the idea of having the cable what the heck i'm sorry what? What is this? What is this? <laughs> this is part of the mining operation. It's just been back here the whole time. That's nutty. I like that. That there's just like empty caves back here. That's funny. You never know what you could find in here either. It could be some kind of weird goblin creature or something. Like, you ever heard that old creepypasta, like internet horror story about the two guys who find like the, the hole? And it's so small, the guy has to, like, wiggle through it, and he gets in there, and there's the the round boulder, and then, like, it moves while he's not paying attention. He's like, what moved the boulder? We've got to get out of here! And then the story ends with him being like, yeah, we're going to go back and check it out, but I, you know, don't worry, I'll, I'll come back and update the blog, you know, tomorrow or the next day at the latest. And he was never heard from again. Dun, dun, dun. Now, the guy who actually wrote it is fine. He, I think he's done an interview uh, before with someone. I, I can't. I actually, okay, so this is a story I remember back from the old days. And I feel like it's one that's come up a ton. Like, I think I've heard that story told more than probably any other sort of creepy story of its sort. But the most recent time I listened to it was uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Windigoon, who I'm sure you all know and and probably love, because who doesn't love Windigoon? He's a great guy. And Meat Canyon are doing like a spooky spot podcast now, which is great fun. And uh, they kind of covered that story again here recently, which is the umpteenth time I've heard it, you know. But it's still really good. That is a great story all around. And the fact that it's like it's a guy who actually does do caving, and he the, the hole is real. So he has pictures of him and his friend exploring the hole. And then as he's explained more recently in, in like podcast interviews and everything, when he was writing the blog about it, he's like, well, why don't I just spice this up a little bit and make it a little bit more interesting? And I think it was like a joke, like a prank on his family because he was living away from his family. And he's like, what if I just made up this story? What if I just fabricated this story of me like going missing? Wouldn't that be funny? Ha ha. And I've got to say, no, it wouldn't. That, that would be terrifying. Are you kidding me? If I was the guy's family and, and, and I was keeping up with his adventures in this, like, blog and then suddenly he was missing, I, I would be so concerned. It is kind of funny. <laughs> it is a little bit on the funny side. Uh, there we go. So we've got that tucked away inside of there now. And then I think we can just probably... Like, I would like to inject... Maybe back here can I do it? Actually, I can just cap that. And that's out of sight. And then if I come back around here, I can't quite get this completely out of sight. But then if I inject right there, I don't know exactly where that expanded to. Oh, it's so close. Yeah, that's the issue. I didn't actually want it to do that. I think I can go get the individual pellets and do it. Or I guess I could have just broken the cable surrounding it as well before doing that. That probably would have made all the sense in the world. And I just didn't. 
So now we've got to program this thing. Hold on. I've got to try to remember how to do that. Because you can program this thing to different blocks. Is it you shift right click? There you go. And then we right click there to set it. And then we can pump it full of sand. And there we go. It's now invisible. So there's no more cable coming up out of the ground. The cables we ran are still in here. I love a good creepy pasta though. So that's a good one. The one with uh with Papa Meat. Did I say Papa Meat earlier? Did I say Papa Meat? I meant Papa Meat, if that's not who I said. Uh, Papa Meat and Wendigoon have a good one. There's there's a, a, a slightly different style podcast that I've been listening to that's Wendigoon. I gotta say, Wendigoon has been getting around. I don't know what the man is doing. Here it is, the Red Thread. All right, Red Thread's been pretty good as well. They're covering more like real life stories. Well, no, okay, the first one was the Goat Man, but they, they did like a disappearance. That's pretty good. So that's a lot of fun. Windigoon's just popping off everywhere. I love that guy. He's great. I did see the other day, I just took a nap to get the sun back up. I saw the other day that there was a, a cancellation attempt on Windigoon because he's a white Christian who owns guns. Have you ever been to the American South? <laughs> People on the internet are weirdos, or especially, I think this is an X cancellation attempt. Everyone on X is a weirdo. Uh, I have the Howdy Folks account. I don't tweet very often, but I go on there and I scroll and I'm like, who, who are these people? What rocks do they live under and where? I, weirdos. Anyway, look at this. UU Matter production's going well. It's oddly staggered, and I'm assuming the reason for that is every so often something gets a bit of UU Matter out of here, and it probably, yeah, right there, you saw that dip to 63. It takes it from here first for some reason. I d uh, let's go upstairs and kind of like have a little look around at how things are going. So first off, how is this? Yep, arbitrary, but it's working. <sighs> We're just gonna move on past that. But this is starting to. Uh, this is starting to. Which one of these is it? Hold on. Come here, you. What are you? What What is this one? I'm actually confused about... Oh, this is the one that was supposed to send them downstairs. Wait a minute. Where do you guys send UU Matter to? You send them to this? Does it still go downstairs? I guess it does. I guess that's what that chest is. Meanwhile, it's this chest here that should have the UU Matter. And so this is coming along swimmingly. Once that's full, I assume... Oh, that's full. That's great. That's fantastic. How about here? Yep, that's full. And then what about right here? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We'd love to see that. Fantastic. We might we might crank it up. Good, good, good. The Pez's are good. Have you hit 64? 28. Okay, so I know that what its limiting factor is. It's probably still going to be the regular, yeah. Which means that one of these is not being manufactured at a fast enough pace. And we know which one it is. Wait, there's none of them in here, though. Why are there none of them inside of there? You're still operating, aren't you? You're not doing anything. You've stopped running. Why have you stopped running? You're not out of materials. You have plenty of everything you need. You stupid, stupid contraption. What is wrong with you? I hate you so much. What did I change over here? The only thing I changed recently over here, okay, was we originally had... Let's see, electronic circuit. I, I also, by the way, have a theory. I think so long as I don't have any electronic circuits in my inventory, if I scroll this with the wheel, well, nothing will happen. Oh, wait, that's because I need a diamond. Hold on. And there we go. So plop that on there. And then, yeah, I think you can scroll this freely so long as you don't have one in your inventory. But it also doesn't like change the fact that it's broken and doesn't work properly. It seems to be our issue is here, if I had to guess, because this is what should be summoning them, and it is not. And the only way I know to engage with that is using a wrench. Okay, to see why you're not working. If we take it out, and we plop it back in, will it start working? Why? Why are you like this? I guess we'll just have to monitor it and make sure it continues to work. Also, I just realized something in my inventory. That button obviously broke earlier. 
But there we go. There's that back up and running. So was that stopping the reason that maybe the UU matter started filling up? Does that make sense? The fact that we weren't getting an electronic circuits meant that other things that needed to be running were not running. And therefore, we, we started getting a backup of UU matter. Is that possible? You stopped again, didn't you? I guess it made 64 of them. We are going to eliminate the middleman. We're going to see whether or not this makes any difference at all. So this is now set up to automatically request 64, and then it's going to automatically dump all of those into this ender chest. I guess we could just dump them directly into the ender chest. We don't need to play around with these games. The goal with having this was to have a buffer that would fill up all the way. But then, obviously, that's causing some kind of weirdo problem where this thing only manufactures 64 of them and then can't seem to realize the chest is empty and it needs to send more, I think is what was going on there. But I feel like it's probably good. Has it made more than 64 at this point? There's no way to know because this keeps going. Pretty much what I wanted to do is just keep going. And it looks like it's going to keep going. Maybe. I guess what we could do, because we have this set up to run infinite. Wait, this one's not broken, though. Why isn't this one broken? This one is set up to use copper cables and rubber and make infinite stack of 64 copper cables. It never went crazy and had an infinite number of items spawn and looping all over the place and spilling out on the ground. It's just working. Is that because it's like infinitely dumping into one of these? Should we just accept that some of these items need to be infinitely manufactured and do that over here? I feel like this is not one of those items, though, is the only issue. I feel like copper cable that makes sense for... And with this, there's no reason to have an infinite number of them. I would like to have the six or 7,000 that could fill this up, but I don't know how to achieve that. And if I set this to infinite, we all know that it's going to cause, well, you know what? Let's just do it. Let me just show you what it does. We set it to infinite. Watch what happens. Items just start spilling out of here forever. Yeah, see how the items are just full in here now and going all over the place and they, they can't go back and they're confused and they're just making an awful mess. That's what happens. I'm going to set it to partial and hope that eventually it stops doing what it's doing right now. But I have my doubts. Okay, we're not going to worry about that. What we're going to worry about right now is doing the floors. And we have to figure out how many floors we have. I don't actually know. Do we count this as the ground floor? And we don't really... Well, we already do have a teleporter for it. It's right there. So this is the ground floor. Do we consider this sort of raised section here, this elevated platform, to be a separate floor? I guess we should. It's the diamond floor, right? This is where we have our... Over 1 million diamonds. You know what I just realized? Hold on just a second. We need to check something because I've not checked in on this in a while. How is this doing? That's awkward. That's embarrassing. This is full. I did not realize that this was full. That That is upsetting. That we could have... We probably should have done something bigger than diamond blocks because it wouldn't have filled up. Each of these is worth 4.7 million, though. So once we go through and, and we empty all of these out, which is what I'm doing right now, I'm just sick to my stomach right now that we didn't realize sooner because this is a lot. Who knows how long it's been filled up for, really? This could, this could be so much more EMC if we'd been paying attention, and it simply is not, and that's my failings, honestly. Just very delicately going through here, Taking these out one giant, you know, stack of blocks at a time. Filling ourselves up here. Getting very close to 800 million EMC. Is there an actual limit to the amount of EMC you can have? I doubt it. Okay, so that's all of them. And that gets us almost to... I was hoping we would hit a billion. I would love to hit a billion EMC. Are you kidding me? We're not that far off. It's going to eventually happen. Is that how we end the series? One billion EMC by Christmas, I say. What's a stack of diamonds worth? So that's worth half a million. Each one of these is worth a million. So doing it this way would take an absolutely insane amount of time. We'll figure something out. Right, so these are the first two floors. So you got one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
23, 24, 25, 25. There's 25 floors. And no, we're not counting the roof because we can't do anything up there. It's the literal world limit. So let's say we move that one over here, right? Because that's the Nexus teleporter. So we'll have it be a bit set apart. The Nexus teleporter will be there, which is also the first floor teleport. So then we have the, the landing up there. So that's floor two. So that's the first two floors. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Thirty-four. All right, we've gone too far. I realize now that we don't need that many. And then uh, we're not going to go all the way to the end here because there's no purpose. We only need 25 floors. Uh, or actually, if we're not going to have... Well, uh, yeah, no. So counting this one, we're, we're going to move the Nexus one. Uh, I want to lay these out a little bit differently is what I want to do. So let me go a couple of blocks in. If we have the teleporter be right there, if we put that behind it, where does that kind of leave the cabling and everything? So ignoring the fact that we're digging into this corner piece here, that would set that in one, which I like a little bit better, and also elevate it. So these glass fiber cables would actually be where these blocks are right here. I like that a little bit better. I do like that a little bit better. So let's grab, we've got some teleporters, but we do need more. And those are gonna be right here. I No, hold on, right up here. So we'll go ahead and grab, I think we said 25. We've already got the one for the ground floor. It just goes back to the Nexus. So 24. We're going to put a second one up in the penthouse so we can get to the penthouse from here or the Nexus, and it won't matter one way or the other. Let's see if... Oh, good. That one's broken now. That's good to see. Love seeing how that's broken. And going indefinitely into here now. Good, good. Love when the mod is just fundamentally broken in a predictable way. And then I love when the solution is to just do something slightly different. For just some reason, because the mod isn't broken in that way. It's just only broken in one particular way. But it is broken in multiple ways. So we, we break that now. And accidentally break the floor, maybe, is what that sound was. I think I broke that block right there underneath there. Whatever. There we go. There's that patched. Give me all of these out of here. There's no reason for this. It's absolutely absurd. I do want to actually get that glass under there if I can. If I can somehow, like, without having to go underneath... Just place that glass. Oh, come on. Nah. Nah, I'm gonna have to go under. Yep, right there. Told you. I told you. I knew it. Okay. So why have you stopped running? How did I have you configured before? Partial 64. Interesting. So you're done. You're done running now. Good. I crank it up to 127. I'll do 126, because that's that's two stacks. No, it's not. 128 would be two stacks. Yeah, why can't we go to 128? Why is, that, why is this the limit, I wonder? Nothing should happen, because there is currently more than that in here. But if we add more, and then once we're done with that, we add more. So effectively, that is six stacks. Not quite, it's a few shy. But it should be about six stacks, which we don't currently have. So we'll see whether or not it manages that without... Well, it definitely looks very broken, but we'll see. MFS uses the other thing that we needed. We need 24 of those, which we keep 32 stocked. So I don't know why we don't just keep 64 of them stocked. Why don't we? What is the practical reason? I don't think there is one. Get these out of my inventory. I can crank this up to 64. So basically the setup will be... Get me back up here. Uh, we'll have the MFSU back there. And then we will have the teleporter just ahead of it. Uh, and then we'll put, kind of like we do downstairs, uh, some steps here. A couple of blocks to fill that in and we'll be good to go. And then the underside of it will look kind of like what we were talking about before. Negotiate our way down here. We will have the... There we go, glass fiber cables. And you are the HV transformer, correct? Yeah, I think it's safe to come off of this HV transformer. We'll have to figure something else out for power kind of long term. Oh, you know what? I was going to say, we, we could have the power be here and kind of run along that way. Uh, or what we could do, we could actually move the teleporter in one more block, have the MFSU go in one more block, and then actually have power kind of inside of here out of sight where we wouldn't actually have to inject it with any kind of foam and then the advantage to that is that this could be marble ceiling again 
and visibly you wouldn't be able to see the teleporters down here. But would that look funny to have the teleporter be set in two blocks? That seems like a bit much. I kind of like this better anyway. We'll just do this and we'll be able to see the teleporters and it's fine and not that big a deal and anyone who cares needs to uh, take a chill pill and that person is me. I'm the one who cares. I'm the one who needs the chill pill. I need to, I need to chill. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters. So that'll hook up like that. That should start charging. I did not even really check to see whether or not the teleporter was wired in properly. That <laughs> probably would have been good to check. I'm going to grab one of the two frequency transmitters we have with us at all times. I'm going to clear it. And then, like I said, I want this one to be synced up with the Nexus. So, I mean, we could just fast travel back. Oh, gosh, this way. And which one of you are Factory East? You are. So right click, link established. So this should take us now over here instead. Perfect. And then this one we can just move. And I don't know if we can break them with any old block. I think we'll use the pre precision wrench just to be safe. And uh, we'll move both of these over and kind of match the, the orientation that we've got going on over here. I put down portal first and then that. Hopefully it, it brings itself around to the correct orientation. So we'll have this one here as the Nexus, and I should spell it correctly. And then this will be floor two. And I understand apparently in some parts of the world, the first floor is always referred to as the ground floor. And then the second story is referred to as the first floor because it's the first above ground floor, I guess, which kind of makes sense to me, but also is not the way we do it stateside. Uh, ground floor is always the first floor, and then the next floor above that is the second one. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not sure how that happened, but that means this is going to be second floor. How are we actually going to do this? Do we want to do two uh, dash diamonds? Something like that. That doesn't need to be permanent. Oh, you know what? I might like better if we have the floor number so we can put floor two and then underneath that what is manufactured there <laughs> that is not a thing at all d a, a di di why can't i spell am i just typing too fast diamonds there we go i'm not even sure what letter i was missing before diamonds and then we have it closed off like that or do we do we want to have each one inside of its own little pod or do we want to have the nexus be set apart and then have every subsequent one. I just realized we'll need twice the number that I said we would. I said we would need 24, but we actually need uh, 48 because we got to have one on each corresponding floor. That doesn't matter, though. Do we want this one to be kind of set apart and then all of these just be next to each other? No, because that could get confusing and then the button might activate more than one. I don't think that it would, but theoretically it could. I don't want that. I don't want things to be confusing. I want when you get to one and you step inside of it. Yeah, I, I like that it's kind of a little nook. It's a little nook and cranny situation. We're going to go with that. We also went a little bit crazy when we were breaking all of these with the tool earlier. Um, so we can do this one. I, I don't know what we'll do down here. We'll figure it out. Okay, got these all in place. And now we've just got to start the fun part of running the ones upstairs and then slowly going up and connecting them and then coming back down and doing the next one and then the next one and then the next one and then this is how I'm spending the next hour and a half of my life. Okay, so now what we do is we've got that one down there placed and then we move on to the next floor where we do this whole procedure again and obviously some of these floors have lights in place that I'm going to have to come back and patch up after the fact. Good gosh, I almost skipped a floor but uh, we're not going to use our tool to break the glass here. I think we can break it just as quickly with our hands. We won't risk breaking everything behind it. And fortunately, we do have a ladder here, which means that in order to get up and down, we don't have to fly all the way to the middle, go through the hole, and fly all the way back. So that saves us some time. And once again, breaking the lights with our hands is going to be just as fast as using a tool. And more importantly, we're much less likely to accidentally break everything in the process. So this is what this procedure is going to look like for the next 20 some odd floors. Hope that you folks are enjoying the fact that it's me doing this and not you. And uh, getting some level of, like, I don't know, some sort of sick joy out of it. Because at least then it's it's all worth it in some way. Oh, you know what? I forgot I'm supposed to be leaving buttons behind as I go. I didn't leave a button here, did I? Son of a gun, I didn't. I did not leave a button. Did I remember to leave a button on this floor? No button here either. But this floor, this is where... There's no button there either. 
What about right here? This is literally the first floor I did. I did put a button here. That's something. I didn't put one down here, though! I completely skipped this floor! Duh! Floor, 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 duh. Floor, duh, floor, duh. Is that how it started? Like, hey, where do you want me to leave my shoes? On the floor, duh. That's it! And that's, that's how, that's how they figured out how to name the state. Look at this. You can actually get yourself into a pretty good... <laughs> as soon as I said it, I started failing. But yeah, look. You can get into a pretty good speedy rhythm here. You know, you come up, you break the two blocks on the floor. You know, we worry about collecting those later on the way back down at a later date. But then plop, plop, plop. Get into a good rhythm. When you get to the glass floors, it's even quicker, baby. It's even quicker. Plop, plop, plop. They all go in order. Move on to the next floor. Look at this. I, I am speed right now. I am the absolute definition of speed. If you looked up speed in a dictionary, you would see my face next to it, as well as a warning about, like, hey, listen, let let's talk about what happens when you play too much Minecraft, all right? You become this. Don't become this, you know? Do something worthwhile with your life, you know? Find a girl, get married, have a family, move out onto a ranch, raise cattle and chickens and... Uh, you know, eat grass-fed beef exclusively. Don't eat fast food. Look at this guy. He play. He eats way too much fast food while he plays Minecraft. Don't be like this guy. You know, don't be. Go be a chat. I'm going to reorient some things here, all the way at the top at the penthouse, because originally this was underneath there, but I need to get power to both of them at the same time, and there's already going to be a gap here anyway. So I just did it like this, and that that doesn't look too bad from down here. And it gets basically the same job done, so those should both be filling up. So that is it for placement. Gosh, the, the the hairs on my face are driving me crazy. It might be time to shave the beard. The beard might have gone too far at this point. I've had to adjust the camera. I don't know if you've noticed, but every time I record, <laughs> I've had to, like, adjust the camera a little bit, like, tilt it down ever so slightly, because it gets to the point where my, like, beard starts to get cut off. And I'm like, nope, gotta, gotta tilt it up more. My head sits higher than it used to. Anyway, and, and specifically the mustache is, is what's driving me crazy. The mustache is really, really getting on my nerves. But there we go. So now it's a matter of, for the floors with lighting, I gotta go back through and patch the lights to look good. And uh, in some instances, I'm not gonna have enough lights. I have to go pick up more lights. And I gotta figure out what colors I need. That's gonna be a whole thing. And then also, we then begin the process of uh, connecting them all. And trying to get them all in the correct order. So I've got pretty much all the colors here that I think I might end up needing. Uh, we haven't. We, we do have a lime floor, but I never put down lime lamps yet. So that's something I need to do at a later date. But for right now, I think that orange and black, red, blue, white... Might be all that I need. We'll find out when I get back in there and realize that, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to get chartreuse! Which isn't really one of the colors, but it'd be funny. Alright, let's go ahead and set one of these up. So hold on, frequency, why is it not clearing? Is it already cleared? Is that why? Pick that thing back up. Shift and right click, nothing's happening. Alright, floor two diamonds. Yep, linked. Floor two, right here. Diamonds. Boop. How does this one not have a gosh darn button? It's one of the first ones I did, but clear that out now. Clear that out. And then if I click that button. Wonderful. Okay. Floor three. We'll give a name for it later. What I can do is I can come up here and then I can set it. Clear it. And then patch this. We're going to do lights there too, I think. That looks nice. And then we can go back down. Okay. And then we can set the next one. So, again, make sure it's cleared so we can set that one. So that's for the next floor. So then I can go... Oh, is there not enough power? Oh. I haven't actually hooked up power to any of these. That is a bit of an awkward oversight on my part. That That is definitely going to be an issue that I'm going to have to, like, address immediately. You know what I should do is I should have a teleport for going underground instead of having to try to figure out how to get up this ladder every time. Or rather, get down it. That's the real problem, isn't it? Uh, we should, you know what, we could have right down here, we'd have these teleporters all be sanctioned to just different places in the factory. So back over there to that corner, or right underground here, things like that, other places, you know, haven't thought about it that far ahead. 
But uh, maybe I should be adding signs to these as we go, too. I do have some signs uh, and some buttons and just a whole lot of stuff in my inventory taking up space. I don't know what a lot of these floors have on them off the top of my head. So we're just going to, like, very quickly label them floor f f three, for example, right? And it, it is charging up, but it is not ready to take me anywhere. You know what? That's fine. Now's as good an opportunity as any to grab the bye-bye bag and get rid of limestone and cobblestone. Two items that I don't need to be carrying around with me. Don't need these random bits of basalt. Uh, also, you know what? Really can do the rest of my life without having all of this extra sand and all of this extra marble. We don't really need that much marble on us. Or this coal, this random bit of coal we can get rid of. And now maybe we're a little bit lighter. Perfect. I think we already set this one for floor four, right? So there we go. So we should now be able to teleport back down. And then we can set this up with the next one. And we want to add a sign indicating that this one's finished. Floor four. There we go. Let me go back to it. And I've got to fix the lights. There we go. And now we can move on to the next floor. Floor five. And clear it. Teleport down to it. Put up a sign. Floor five. Perfect. And then make sure it's cleared. Go to floor six. Go back up to five. Yeah, we've got a bit of a strategy here. We've got a bit of something going on, I think. So I found a problem with what we've been doing here. I found just a small, simple issue, which is that, um, you know what? We, we've made it up to floor eight. Here we are. Welcome. You know what I forgot to do was reset the frequency transmitter. Let's just go back real quick. And, uh, mm, yeah, because this is, each one of these is subsequently further along, each one is taking longer to charge. So, <laughs> we've made it up eight floors, and we're already so far away from the power source, and we have so many other MFSUs trying to charge up in line, this one's just taken absolute ages, so we can no longer fast travel back and forth. We have to now rely on gravity to get us moving around. How fun is that? This is also presented the issue of, uh, I don't know what floor I'm at most of the time, so I'm not going to have to go backwards, start working my way backwards and putting down signs next to the portal, teleporters themselves, saying, you know, floor. Also, why not call them level, right? Level two diamonds. Why not? It does mean I have to redo all the signs down there, but calling them levels, like, oh, what floor are you on? I'm on floor seven. Is that Does that sound as cool as, like, I'm at level seven? I'm, I'm here on level two right now, overlooking the factory, and uh, the enemy are moving. Right, that sounds way more interesting. We're gonna start, I'm, I'm going to rename all of them. I'm going to go back and redo them all now. Okay, so there's level 24 done. This one does not have enough juice to take me up to 20. What about 22? Can I get to 22 at least? There we go. Up to 24. Oh my goodness gracious, we're almost there. We are almost there. Level 24. And then finally, we get up here to level 25. I feel like I've been at this for years and years. So that'll take us back to the Nexus. This one takes us back to... Well, actually, so what I've been doing is I've been putting the name of the floor that we are on instead of where it's taking us, so that I actually have a reference on this floor of what floor number we are on. That might seem weird, but it made more sense to me, because obviously this is not going to take us to level 25, it's going to take us to level 1. Th this is literally just so I could keep track of the counting. If I wanted to go through and change them now, I could, but I'm not going to. Uh, we need to link it. There we go. Clear it. No way does it have enough charge to take me back down just yet. Um... It didn't even try, though, is the weird part. Like, it doesn't have any char- Oh! It has, like, so little charge. There's so little charge coming through here. Unbelievable. So, eventually these will charge up, right? I think this one would probably do the same. No, that one actually lit up. Did I set something up wrong here? Let's- let's set that one. And then we'll head back down. And just verify, in fact- Oh, wait! No, I'm- mm, I'm confused. I might have set something up wrong there. Did I No, I clicked on that one when we got up there. That's what I did. We went to 24 and linked them, then I clicked on 25, and now we're coming down here to link this one on number 25. Link established. There we go. So, level 25. And we're done. And it's a beautiful thing, and this one is charging up a bit quicker, so it'll probably not have quite enough power. 
But uh, eventually those up top will fill up. Basically what you got to wait on is for every one on every floor below it to fill up. So once this one's full, whatever power it's taking is going to be sent up to the next floor and then so on and so forth. The only way I would know to speed that up any would be to come over here and let's say if we... Um, how would we do that? Where, where's the power for those? Where's that coming from? Way over here. So the power for all of those is coming from this line, which is coming out of this MV transformer. Oh, really? Interesting. We should probably get this on its own high voltage run. I don't... What just happened? I phased into the wall again, as tends to happen. Uh, we probably have enough cable to do this, but we're going to want to be careful. Uh, we're going to come off of this T here, and this is going to eat into some of the power going to these MFSUs, but I don't really care. Alternatively, we could just extend this line out to the end and then add uh, an adapter, but we're not going to. So we're going to carry this out to right here, and we are not going to link it up directly to this line at first. What we're going to do is uh, make sure we have a little bit of a gap between them, okay? And then we're going to disconnect right here, probably. Because what I don't want is for the high voltage to go back up into this line. Can you imagine the issues that would cause? Do you mad? Can you imagine the amount of machines that would probably blow up? Because there's no middleman that would blow up first and spare all the machines. Basically, all of these machines would immediately... I guess the MFEs would explode. They might take the machines with them. But here we go. So this is now going to be a high voltage line. Is there any other machines? No. I don't think there's any machines plugged into that. There's no explosion. So that's going to increase the speed at which those charge. And we we could potentially add another HV transformer like right here to increase the amount of HV packets. But I, I assume, yeah, this one's going to start slowing down a little bit because some of that extra voltage is going to go down here. But the thing to remember with that is that once all of the MFSUs connected to the teleporters are charged up that voltage is it's not a constant draw so that voltage is going to go away and then we'll go back to uh running those mfsus but this should now fill up a little bit more quickly and then something else we could consider doing is adding some solar panels to the top of the tower to tie in directly this is where they're at i don't know where i was going just then what did i just do what why why is get this out of my hand get me back to my bare hand uh, but this is just like a, an additional option we have. We could grab a couple of high voltage solar panels, maybe like just just grab maybe five of them, and then we can. Uh, obviously, it's nighttime right now, so it's not going to have like a huge impact. But if we were to go down here and then go to bed, <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> You can see what I've been doing for the last hour of my life. Okay, and then from there we can go back upstairs to the penthouse. And where do we want to put these solar panels? We could just literally put them right here along the floor if we wanted to, or we can put them right up here on the roof, but that would necessitate running cabling up to the roof, which I'm not really feeling right now. There's, I mean, nothing preventing us from doing it. Can we place them up here, though? Would it look silly if we placed them up here? And then ha where would we run the cable to? This is the center. I just realized that's upsetting, the way that this little nub here is off-centered. So actually, we might be doing a service to the entire tower by running a cable up here, because what that would allow us to do, excuse me, there we go, what that would allow us to do is kind of restructure this so that the little the little bump is more centered. So let's see if we can do that, right? Let's see if we can tidy that up, because that's the middle there. So we would have this bump do this now, and then we would have solar panels here. I grabbed five, but if we just put down three of them there like that, and then we take these stairs out from underneath them. If we, if we can. There we go. And run the power cables. How are we going to do this, though? I guess straight down would make a bit of a mess, wouldn't it? I suppose we could do this. This looks awful, though, is the only issue. But we could do this. And that would tie into these MFSUs. The issue is that sends power directly to these two at the top, and it would not pass through to the ones down below. So that's fine if we just want to get power into these two. An alternative would be, you know what we could do, is we can take out this middle section here. Hold on, hear me out, hear me out here. 
Let me break these. Accidentally just broke out the windows as well because gosh darn it if that thing isn't just unruly and hard to use. But let's type in glass, not window, because that's not a thing. And then we're going to get rid of this bit of the wall here. Some of you can probably already tell where we're going with this. Actually, we'll get rid of this section too. This, this is going to work so much better. So we hook these up along the back and we have the power cable tap in right here, which will deliver power directly to the MFSUs as well as to the, the line going all the way down. And then from there, we just need to grab our CF sprayer, our construction foam sprayer, as well as our obscurator, and boop. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hold on. Boop. There we go. <laughs> I thought it was going to give me issues. I thought it was going to give me issues. So one, uh, hold on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm counting because I'm also going to go ahead and grab sand because even though I said that you folks would never need this, you know, just be a little patient. I'm going to need 13 sand. I thought for some reason I could use the scroll wheel there. I keep trying to do that as well. I keep trying and failing to do the scroll wheel there. But two, three. I don't actually... Okay, well, there goes that piece forever. There goes that one as well. So we're actually not going to have enough here. I've actually messed up a little bit. But now we should have an invisible cable run. So, also, that's still not centered. How did I get that wrong? We need to go all the way over to this glass piece here, I believe, is what needs to happen. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Now it's centered. And that, hey, you know what? We're going to look at things on the positive side. That means that we can add, oh, jeez, goodness gracious me, we can add an additional solar panel here. Hold on, though, because I just realized something. I don't like the direction these are facing. What do you mean? You're going to have to let me wrench them off of here. What are you talking about? We're at the build limit. Don't be silly. I also did not need to break that last one. I could have just like spun it around. Uh, but here we go. Perfect. Add an additional cable. Cable. Obfuscate. You got it. You got to play ball here with me. Play ball here. Oh, good gosh. What's happened? What has happened? Why, ha why has that happened? I don't even understand why that has happened. Just needed that one block filled in there. Okay, obfuscate it. And then sandimify it. Sandimify is not a word. Lovely. Oh, and then I didn't realize we'd also need to obfuscate the top. Are you, are you, you're not going to let me obfuscate the tops, are you? Because we're at the build limit. You stupid, stupid contraption. Is there no way for me to cheese this at all? I can get the sides, but I cannot get the top. And I think we just have to deal with it? Because there's no way to, like, interact with it over here. I don't even think I could get it like, a very particular angle and hit it. What if I held down shift while I was on this side? What would happen, huh? I mean, it is completely out of juice. I'll throw that out there. We can charge it really quickly if we head over to the B-Wing. I never thought about maybe it possible for one of these to, like, blow up if you charge it too quickly. Wow, this one is filling up f not very fast, considering how fast this thing has the... I mean, it fills this thing up much more quickly. Maybe instead of blowing up, lower-end devices just can't accept as much power in a go. Maybe that's what we're looking at here. Okay, battery is fully charged. Oh, come on. I really... Do, it's gonna... It's gonna bug me. It's really gonna bug me. And I don't know what to do about it. Because I don't think I can hit it from any other angle and somehow get it to, like, you know, color the, the darn pieces up here. <sighs> Whatever. It's not like you can tell from anywhere other than right at the top. And we have other issues. Like, every time we log out and back in, this piece is, like, missing the... A little bit of a uh, little bit of marble. It doesn't matter. Let's head underground. Let's head not underground, but back into the back into the here where we can get those reinforced stairs and patch this up a little bit now. Hold on. Is this maybe is this maybe a fun thing to do here where the ladder goes up? Maybe do this. Maybe that's fun. Maybe we like that. I don't know. Uh, one thing we definitely like is obscuring these blocks on the inside as well, which is working so well. And I think that's all the ones that are visible, or are there more down here? There is one more. There we go. There's another! So if we have a look at these now, it's full daylight. 
And with nothing in our hands, because I don't want to accidentally mess something up. They're definitely filling up now, which they were not doing before. And I would assume with power coming in from both directions, this one here will also be filling up faster. So now instead of the ones at the top being the slowest ones, it's going to be kind of the ones in the middle. Because as they, you know, the power up there and the power down there make their way up and down respectively, eventually they're going to get to a point where, you know, the middle one is just getting the least amount of power. But again, as it fills up, it will, uh, you know, as these two up here fill up, the, the extra power will go down and, and eventually they'll all be full. And then one of these days we'll be able to just get down a ladder without too much fuss. Can I, can I fast travel? Can I teleport? I need to replace this button before we go because that's going to bother me. It's going to bother me. And I also need to replace the sign because that'll bother me as well. Nexus. I, I, I can see, I can easily see myself adding a third teleporter up here at the pit house, which is not completed, by the way, with the glass floor. What do we need in a penthouse? Should we put our bed up here? We, we should probably put, like, a bed up here. Let's see. We might need to add also more... Hold on. Yeah, you gotta take your nap over here at the penthouse. Okay, new spawn point has been set. I was gonna say, we might add more solar panels all the way around the top here and kit this place out with all kinds of interesting things. It could be cool to move all the crafting stuff that we have downstairs. Oh my gosh, look how small the world is from up here. Even the tree looks small from up here, and the tree is not small. The tree is too big and too bland and hard to look at and upsetting. But the world, it really does just look like our little oyster from up here. I can understand how an AI might go rogue. What is that over there? What is that over there? Hold on. What's that dark shadowy area? You must never go there. It's the beginning of another volcano. Okay. I guess it right there in that shadowy bit is where the volcano is. I tried to get... There's a couple of different mods that do it. There's one that renders everything in the background at a lower resolution. And it's great, but I could only find it for 1.16 and newer. And then there's one that does it for 1.12, but you have to have a couple of other mods. And you have to have a very particular world type when you do that. Which, this was obviously not created with that world type in mind. So as far as I know, it's just not gonna actually work. So I couldn't get any of that working, which is unfortunately... Apparently the Twilight Forest mod works, though, which is odd. Because that really is just not a part of this mod pack. But how are we doing? 29,000? Can you take me down? Oh my gosh, it worked. And it took me to the right floor and everything. Alright, well, there's only one thing left to do. And that's get a lot more of these reinforced stairs. And we now do this. Okay, now here's the real issue. I just did all that while holding down shift. And I can't do that now because it will not let me place the block inside of there while holding shift. And if there wasn't a button there, it would place it in front of it. Which means I just kind of have to awkwardly stagger along here and actually move the camera. And this is just such a more... Oh, that was inevitable. That was going to happen. We just knew that eventually that is what would happen. Isn't that upsetting? All right. All 25 teleports to 25 floors. None of them are labeled with what they are beside level 2 diamonds. Because I don't really know what are at the other floors. I think level 4 is like... Uh, is that the ingots? Could we possibly name level 24? Or level 4, I should say. Yeah, this is ingots. Should I, should I rename this one? Hold on. Level 4... Ingots. How fast are you filling up? You're filling up at a pretty decent pace. Level 6 manufactures... Mineables? Is that what we call it? Do we call it mineables? What's all the way on this opposite end here? Obsidian. I knew we already had obsidian! I knew it! Gosh darn it, I knew it! Because we added it to the nether floor, I think. And I was like, man, I almost positive we had obsidian already. And we do! We do already have obsidian, and now we have it twice for some reason. I mean, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I'm not, like, super upset about it or anything. I'm not I'm not going to be lastingly mad about it. I just wish I remembered. Level 6, mineables. Is that how you even spell? Mineables is not a word. I feel like the E should be dropped after mine, but mineables is not even a real word. Oh. Okay, according to Merriam-Webster, first off, the way that I said it should be spelled, minables, uh, minables is an adjective, uh, variants, or minable, oh, 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 M-I-N-E, able, is also correct, they're both correct, capable of being mined, which one should we go with? 
this does look like minables when I look at it versus mineables. And according to Merriam-Webster, they're both correct. So there you go. Level 7, nature. There we go. Just, we might as well lo uh, label the ones that we've got. Level 19, nether. Good. Level 20, end. Not wind, end. Level 25, penthouse. Obviously, you've got to have the disclaimer that that's the penthouse. Actually, take me back up to the penthouse because it's dark outside and it's going to not charge during the dark. We need to. Well, it will because the pesu downstairs is going to continue to pump power up. But there we go. And there we go. That is what a tidy inventory looks like after a long, hard day of doing nonsense in the factory. If we go back now to Factory East. Okay there, buckaroo. Oh, that's not good at all. That That is not allowed to or permitted whatsoever. Should we maybe, should we maybe just go ahead and toss that in there and, and, and hopefully it goes to the right place and, and gets the job done? Uh, wow, it sure is like stuttery when we first fast travel back over here. Things that we still need to do. Probably move a... Um, a, a, a chunk loader over to this corner somewhere. Definitely need to add lights to the appropriate floors, because the ender floor doesn't have lights still, which is lime for some reason. And aside from that, though, I think we're doing pretty decent. I think we might be we might be getting somewhere here. We might be getting done soon. And I'm I'm still considering selling the factory and everything. Still looking for feedback in the comments. Let me know what you think we ought to do. Until next time, though, thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Merry Christmas, and goodbye!